Hello, on this video I'm going to show you how to install PyLint and also I'm going to show you how you can use it to write better code. So first we need to install PyLint. If you have been following all my videos you know that we all install Python on this machine and now we need to install PyLint. If you go to pylint.org it tells you how to install the PyLint. If I scroll down all the way down here on the windows it says to install pylint you need to run pip install pylint so let's run this i want to first open the command line and then if you install python then you only have pip installed pip is the package management for python so I'm going to type pip-v and if you get this information that means you have pip installed on it. I'm going to use the command that the pylint website tells us to do which is pip install pylint. Press enter. And I got an interesting message right here. It's saying that my pip is old and there is a new version available so I'm just going to install the new one as well so I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste here and then I'm going to run to update pip all right so good so now my pip is updated and I also have pylint so now I just want to check if I have pylint installed properly all right, so if you got this message, that means PyLint is installed properly on your machine. So now the next step is for us to actually run the PyLint. So now I'm going to open Ideally. And then I'm going to open my script. And here I have the code from the past video. Now let's run PyLint against this code to see if there is any recommendation. So first I need to know where the code is. So I'm going to copy the path of where the code is. Then back to my command line. I'm going to go to that location. In my case, it's on the desktop. And this is my Python code. Now I'm going to run pylint and then the name of my Python file. Press enter. And here I have a rate for my code and also a recommendation of what's missing for me to get a, a 10. So I have 8.33 out of 10. And it's saying here, hey, hello world pi. It's missing a module doc string. So now, based on this message, I know it's missing the doc string. But if I did not know what a doc string is, I would just search the internet for this error and this message, and then it would tell me what to do. Since I know what a doc string is, I can get just come to my code and then put three quotes followed by another three quotes. And right here goes the doc string. The doc string is pretty much a comment that you put in your code that explains what it does. So I'm just going to put some text right here just to satisfy PyLint. And now I'm going to save this program. And then after I save, I'm going to go back to PyLint. I'm going to type arrow up on my keyboard, enter. And it looks like I have another error on line five. So go back to my code. Yep, I have one extra quote here. So I'm going to delete one quote. Save. And then run the pylint again. And now it shows me here on line 4. I have trailing white spaces. So line 4, trailing. There should be some white space right here. Yep. So I'm going to delete this white space. Save. And run the pylint again. 
and voila this time I get a 10 out of 10. So what PyLint does is just looks for useless codes or looks for codes that doesn't seem right or codes that are not up to standard. Um, it is a pain and neck sometimes to work with PyLint. However, especially for learning Python right now, it is a very, very good programming behavior for you to always run PyLint and make sure your code is up to standard. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.